Hello everyone, hopefully you guys aren't too upset with me. It's been a long time since I've made a video, so I apologize for the very long hiatus, but I got a new job and I've been trying to kind of get used to my new job routine, etc, etc. I know, excuses, excuses. So making it up to you by creating my best products of basically my life. Um, some products you guys will see from 2012, but majority of the products I've used literally since I was in middle school and started using makeup. And I think it's safe to say that these are my holy grail products, totally my favorite. I would recommend anyone to go out and buy these. So let's just get started because this video is going to be pretty long. So in 2012, Urban Decay came out with the Naked palette, which, which I use every day. This is the most versatile palette I've ever used, and I'm so happy that I created this. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about this eyeshadow palette, but these are all the colors. Um, totally within my color range of neutrals all the way down to a smokier, darker shadow. So, yes, Urban Decay Naked palette, go get it if you already don't have it. Next product is the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I didn't really start using this until a friend introduced it to me in college and I cannot live without it. I have extremely oily skin and that goes with oily eyelids so I use this to prime my eyes before I add eyeshadows, eyeliner, anything. So I am so glad I have this product. I've been using it for yeah, about four years now, and I cannot live without it. And of course, the ever so famous Shu Yumera eyelash curler. Um, I used to never curl my lashes in the past because every time I did, I would break off some of my lashes, or you know, it's just not a very friendly tool to use with. It's very intimidating until. Um, Another friend of mine recommended, hey, why don't you try this Shu Yumera eyelash curler? And it's the perfect shape for my eye. I don't experience, you know, weaker lashes because I use it. And I finally have curled lashes, which I have always dreamed for. And this is extremely easy to use. I think it's the shape of the cur um, curler itself. It's more of like a mushroom shape, so it's tailored towards... I don't want to say just tailored towards Asian eyes, but it helps um, girls like myself with more almond shaped eyes. So, holy grail eyelash curler. I haven't even thought about trying out a different eyelash curler because I love this one so much. And next into some of my favorite eye products, eyeliners. Um, I discovered Milani drugstore makeup just within this past year and I'm so happy I did. I think they have some of the most affordable eye products that I have ever used and they are fantastic quality. Fantastic quality. So I'm going to show you guys the Milani liquid eye pencils. I just ran out of my last one which is why this is a brand new one but I have it in 05 brown and I have it in the black color as well. These are super pigmented. Let me swatch it for you real quick. Like that is a black, black liner. Extremely creamy. You can create so many different looks with it. Um, I usually just line my eyes with it, but there has been cases where I line my eyes and then smudge it out with my finger and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous liner. So these are about like six bucks or something at the drugstore. So um, great price and very comparable to high-end eyeliners. Next, we're still in the Milani family and I am in love with their Infinite Liquid Liners. I'm going to have this in Everlast. So that's what it looks like and I'll swatch it for you too. Once again, it's a very, very pigmented, pigmented black liner. And I loved it so much, I also got it in brown. And that's what the brown color looks like. I'll swatch it for you as well. It's like a chocolatey, creamy brown shade right there. After these uh, liquid liner set, 
they do not budge. I've actually used it on a couple of friends when I was doing their makeup and when they are ready to take off their makeup for the night, they are asking me, Nancy, I've tried everything to get this liner off, it won't come off. Um, so that's a great thing that it lasts all day, but you do need to use a makeup remover if you decide to try one of these liners. But highly, highly, highly recommend. And once again, these are about five bucks or so at your local drugstore. Next product is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I didn't really start using concealer until college and there was a matte concealer I really liked until I came across this concealer. Um, it is the perfect shade for my under eyes. Um, the sponge applicator makes it very easy to use. And the color I have here is medium. So three, zero, medium. And that's what it looks like. Sorry if the camera isn't picking it up as well as I like, but it really is the perfect shade for my under eyes. It's what I'm wearing at this moment right now. So if you like how my under eyes look, then go ahead and grab this product. And once again, super affordable. I was just talking about how I have extremely oily skin. So instead of caking my face with makeup. Um, I used to do that in the past and just didn't like the fact that to conquer oil I would add more powder to my face until I discovered these clean and clear oil absorbing wipes. Oh my gosh, this is a life changing moment when I discovered these bad boys. So they're just oil absorbing wipes and I actually got ones that were scented which is kind of nice. Um, the sentence is, doesn't stay very long but it's nice to know that it's trying to make your face smell good while you're using them, but um, let me just grab a sheet out of here for you. This is what it looks like. And it kind of feels like like plastic, but a very flexible plastic. And you first press it on your face and you'll see like all the oil it absorbs. So I don't think I'm oily at the moment, but let me see if I can pick up something. Hmm. You guys see that? Yes, no. So you can see a little bit of the oil it picked up and I don't have to reapply my makeup but I'm still getting rid of all the oil on my face. So I have these in my purse, in my bathroom, basically any location where I can apply makeup. Next I'm going to move on to face products. Um, I didn't start using liquid foundation until I again started college and with all the high-end makeup out there I would still say that Revlon Photo Ready liquid foundation is my favorite liquid foundation. It matches me perfectly um, color wise throughout the winter and summertime which is pretty rare. I would say in the winter time it's a tad bit um, too dark for me but not enough where it's completely you know noticeable so I will swatch this for you guys real quick just so you can see what it looks like just let this guy set so that's what the color looks like and I know it looks a little dark on my hands but on my face I, I tend to have um, warm brown undertones anyways. It just blends very beautifully in my skin. It photographs fantastic and it also has SPF of 20 in it so it's protecting you from the sun. So all those good factors in this little bottle and I think it's about nine bucks now. Um, I am in 006 medium beige. I thought about trying the lighter shade just to see how it looks on my skin but I haven't done that so. But once I do, of course I'll update you guys. So favorite, favorite liquid foundation. Now this is my favorite powder foundation. I feel so guilty that I like it so much because it is really pricey but I have yet to find a powder foundation that I love so much and I guess when it comes to the drugstore brands they're just not cutting it for um, my skin so even though it's pricey I, I definitely think it's worth it I don't see my you know going my life without it so it's the Makeup Forever Dual Matte Powder Foundation this is what it looks like as you can see I have hit pan I really wish they had more product in this powder compact. Makeup Forever, if you're gonna be charging a whomping price, can you just like add, I don't know, 
like 30 more ounces to this just to make us feel a little bit better I don't know something you know can, if you lift this up can you add like more product back here or whatever anyways you guys get my point I really really like this powder foundation um I apologize I apologize I don't know what shade I am in but the best way is to go into Sephora and test out these powders and just make sure you get color match so yep makeup forever dual matte awesome um, so blush I would say it's been really hard in my entire life finding a good blush I like because um, since I'm pretty light-skinned any blush I put on it was very obvious I was wearing a blush and um, just didn't have enough you know experience to find shades that are good for my skin until I met Benefits Coralista this is a gorgeous gorgeous blush and there's a little bit of shimmer in it which is not too obvious it just makes your skin look like it is glowing so that's what the shade looks like and I'll swat and it comes with this little brush that I actually use which is nice when you actually use the brush that a product comes with feel like that is pretty rare nowadays and you guys see that that's what it looks like that's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now and I never have people come up to me and say oh my gosh like what blush are you wearing you need to take it off because I can see it no they usually ask oh your skin looks like it's glowing what are you using so Coralista Benefit please don't discontinue this Benefit I'll be really sad now on to the eyebrows. Um, the first eyebrow product I really fell in love with because it's a drugstore item is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. And it has a wax, a powder, and a darker powder. This is like three bucks in the drugstore. And honestly I only use these two products here. But the nice part is I can use the little brow brush that it comes in. And I just pat in the product to my eyebrows and it's a really nice product for the price and the um, the color it just matches my brows perfectly and it just fills in the shapes beautifully in 2012 I also discovered though Leo Welly has a product called the auto artist brow and this is a phenomenal product I've actually I've never seen a eyebrow product like this before. It has like a twisty top and it's an angled wax product. I think I might have swatched this for a, a previous favorites video but I'll just do it right now. And I know that doesn't look very appealing but remember with eyebrows they need to incorporate some type of wax to help it uh, the shade adhere to your um, hair so that's what it looks like and it's what I'm using on my brows right now if you guys wanted to get a general idea. I really meant it when I said I love these products like I'm clearly using them right now even for filming so I mean what I say. Oh and it also has a spoolie at the end for after you you know you want to clean up your brows and what not. <clears throat> Gosh I wish I had water nearby or something I'm talking up a storm okay that's that next um, another one of my favorite makeup face products eye products in general are mascaras and I think you guys know how much I like the dolly wink yeah dolly wink long fiber mascara complete fan of this mascara it has little fibers on the wand and they definitely add length to my itty bitty lashes um, you can purchase this online it's kind of pricey since it is an Asian mascara but I think it's worth every dollar I cannot live without this and another product which I think you guys would be really curious to know about um, which I just purchased last year it's very innovative and I had to share it and I definitely use it enough now to say that I really really love this product is the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes Mascara. And the concept is very interesting. Just as the box inside shows you, you prime with the mascara, you add the second tube that has the um, nylon fibers in it, and then you use the same mascara you primed with to finish up the process. So 
this is the mascara because it is gold too it's really nice packaging and here are the nylon fibers and this is what the nylon fibers look like it definitely looks like a like q-tip cotton you know fluff but this stuff works it definitely look makes it look like I'm wearing eyelash extensions and it's extremely natural looking so I really like that and the mascara works wonderfully with it too it's it's not your normal mascara it's a lot more it's not a dry formula it's definitely a wet formula and kind of sticky but I think it's because it must work really well in conjunction with those nylon fibers so if you guys want to change your mascara experience, I would definitely recommend that product. And what should I do next? Okay. Uh, and lip products. Max Stripe Down Lip Liner. I've actually used this lip liner since I was 15 years old. And no one could ever tell I was using it, but it could tell that my lips looked fuller. And this is why. If I didn't share with you back in the day, because I didn't want to let you know what my secret was of why my lips always look so full, it's because of this lip liner. I cannot live without it. I've repurchased this at least eight times. So this is what it looks like. And I'll swatch it for you. If it will come up on my hands. So there you go right there, that bottom brown shade. I'm wearing it right now. I usually always put this on before I add a lipstick or a lip gloss. It just really cleans up my the, lip, the lines of my lips I guess and um, creates a fuller effect so thanks to this guy. Oh, My favorite lipstick of all time and I've had this since high school so good time now is Max Angel. I know this is like, not that it matters or anything, but I think a lot of people know that Kim Kardashian loves this lipstick and she uses this quite often. That is not why I love this lipstick. I would like to think that I discovered it before she discovered it, but whatever. This is what it looks like, that pink shade. I can't have this, I cannot live without this. Um, it's my favorite lipstick. If nothing is working out for me that day, you know, lip color wise, this is my backup as always. So MAC Angel Lipstick. And now on to some other beauty products that are not necessarily, you know, face makeup products, but I still can't live without. Nair. I've been using Nair since I started growing hair on my legs. It's pretty gross to say like that, but I have been using Nair. And because I've been using it for so long, I've noticed that my hair does not, hairs on my legs don't grow up, grow back as thick and I don't have to shave at all. People who shave, you guys usually have to shave every day. It sucks for you. I don't have to do that. Um, I love, love Nair. It, um, they recently came out with a cocoa butter scent, which is not bad. Nair in general doesn't smell good but I like the result. I get really silky smooth skin and I usually don't have to use this again for a week, for a full week until I have to use this again. So it makes my life a lot easier. I totally think it's worth it. If I don't have to shave, that's a huge plus. So nair it up. Um, and the last product was this perfume, which I really, really like. It's a Givenchy. Angel de Mon, I don't, I'm sorry if I'm not saying it all fancy and proper, but this is a beautiful scent. It's, um, smells like vanilla, a slight hint of citrus. It just smells like, like fancy, like you're about to go to Paris or something. That's what this smells like. And I've never liked the perfume that much, you know. All the other perfumes or body mists I like always smell like fruit and um, not mature. So this is my first mature smelling perfume that I And really that's really it love. guys. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully this video makes up for the fact that I have been gone for so long. So now you know my favorite products of forever and hopefully you pick some of it up and enjoy them as much as I do. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!